And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Simic Ramp. That's going to be our next deck that we're going to play here with Throne of Eldraine Standard. That's right, uh, Simic looks pretty good aggressive style. We've seen uh, some of our opponents playing uh, these cards more, like cards like Oko, more aggressively. And it looks pretty good, like with, you know, Questing Beast and everything. Like Green got a lot of really good cards in Throne of Eldraine. What we're going to try here is going bigger and having our Gilded Goose and Oko and our mana creatures and everything ramp into some steel effects. So, you know, we have our, our elemental base with Risen Reef, Cavalier of Thorns. Of course, Cavalier of Thorns is an awesome blocker. But then at the top end of our deck, we have an Agent of Treachery and two Mass Manipulation um, and a the Great Henge. So I'm going up with them like this because um, I think I want Mass Manipulation more than Agent of Treachery, like the ability to be able to take lots of different stuff. But I'm going with one Agent of Treachery because it's a card that we can find with Once Upon a Time also. And it's also easier to cast being double blue instead of quadruple blue. But I'm hoping with Gilded Goose adding mana of any color and our Paradise Druid, of course. So we have like the five parts of that and then Risen Reef helping us hit land drops and Cavalier of Thorns also helping you hit a land drop. I'm hoping with all that we can get enough and also once upon a time finding lands as well. Hoping with all that we get enough blue sources for manipulation. Also Nyssa untapping lands can get you an extra blue as well. So yeah, we got a couple of manipulations. And then obviously we have Hydroid Crisis and also one of these, the Great Henges. I wanted to play a second one. I only have room for one, though, with these other cards. Um, but, you know, I wanted to play a second. But, yeah, so that's that's what we're going to try to do here. Um, the, uh, you know, our sideboard, we have, like, these uh, mid-range creatures that we can bring in if our opponent is disrupting us and everything and if we don't get to ramp as well we don't need like some some of this top end we can kind of switch it out for some mid-range stuff um and then we just have different interaction so let's go ahead and give it a try and let's go simic ramp all right so we're gonna play over in ranked simic ramp Hawkeye decided to come join us. What's up, Hawkeye? Yeah. Thanks for joining, Hawkeye. Um, I assume that those triangles are just telling me how many of the cards are not playable in the format that it's listed for because I haven't updated those those decks. Yeah, Harpooner, like with all the people playing green decks and everything, Harpooner, especially like a an aggressive green deck, Harpooner could be pretty valuable with all these Gilded Gooses uh, getting played. All right, turn three Nissa on the play. Hooray. Can I just pay five mana? All right, we figured it out. We will prevail. The land shall conquer you. Figured it out. So next turn, <clears throat> we'll have two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We crease this for nine next turn. That's not including, or yeah, that is including land drop, yeah. Land 
Because, yeah, so that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Crisis. All right, need to find more blue sources. You know, we'll be able to play this, start drawing a whole bunch of cards. This will get us a blue source. This will be a blue source. So we're going to play at least two more blue sources next turn. Yeah, the game's over. So I have the Ether Gusts. See, time will tell. Like, I wonder. Like, what am I supposed to take out for the Ether Gust? Am I supposed to take out Mass Manipulation, thinking that we may not have the four blue mana for it? But that card. And if, if we're taking out Mass Manipulation here, then we just don't want it in the deck. So I don't think we take out Manipulation. Um. I don't know what I'm supposed to take out for the Ether Gust, honestly. If we play those. Now, my, my opponent isn't going to be playing Manipulation or anything like that, but they'll be playing like the, the Planeswalkers that are really good. No, Oko is awesome. Maybe we take out one Manipulation and... A reef? Like Risen Reef. Yeah, I'll take out a Risen Reef, I guess. Everything goes over the top of Risen Reef. No, we need the Cavaliers. Cavaliers block. Um, we need the Cavaliers to block the Questing Beast, but you know, Cavalier getting turned into a 3-3 by Oko is really rough. All right, so I was looking for Gilded Goose with the Once Upon a Time, but we didn't find it. Don't have any room for Tamiyo. Yeah, Simic is really good. It has everything. But yeah, like, we've been playing against a lot of people playing, like, Yorvo and stuff, so... Honestly, like the more that we kind of play, like the more Blight Beetle looks better. Like honestly, I want to play Blight Beetle now. I want to go back and put like a bunch of Blight, Blight, uh, Blight Beetles in the mono black value sideboard. I'm going Oko basically to try to uh, save a bunch of life here. You know, like we could go Risen Reef, but it's but then you know, like we're you know getting attacked by this thing. If I go Oko and start ticking up, then they're like going to attack Oko, and then you know it saves me a bunch of life and slows my opponent down from killing me. Uh, turning Yorvo into a three-three is a terrible idea. Because it it has four one one it's a zero zero that has four one one counters on it, turning it into a three three means that it, that it turns into a, a seven seven because it's it's a three three with four one one counters on it. 
That would be that would be a terrible idea. Don't 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 do that. Turn your own Yorvos into three threes. That's a good idea. Do that. Do that. But don't don't turn your opponent's Yorvos into three threes, because they're originally zero zeros. So you can turn your Krasis like into a 3-3 a three, three to make it bigger, but then it doesn't have trample or flying anymore. You are fouler than a fiend. Are they like holding up counter magic or something? I hope not. I hope this doesn't get countered. But yeah, they could have like Frilled Mystic or something. Resolve. Ugh, they do have Frilled Mystic. That's really annoying. Let's broaden your existence. Nice. Locked someone out earlier. Teferi, Tulane, and Mystic. Awesome. So yeah, Simic, Simic cards look to be like the best thing you can be doing right now on day one. But, you know, like we'll we'll start to adapt. You know, we'll start seeing, you know, like the like Blight Beetle, like I said, like Metagame will adapt, but day one this is looking pretty good. I see you don't share my vision. What am I drawing an agent of treachery? Take this Yorvo. Yeah. Through this land, we are all connected. Oh wait, yeah, we can so yeah, we can we can get rid of the Great Henge with Oko, can't we? We can turn Great Henge into a 3 3. That's not bad. All right, so how much mana, if we play Nyssa and Oko and Aether Gust, that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mana. So I need like 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that, let's see, that played Nyssa. And then we tick up. The so we need another blue source. Because I can't really do that. I guess I have to chump block with Risen Reef here. But still, this is going to be rough trying to survive here. Uh, my my Abzan hero deck has wolf stuff in it. It has Tulsimer and Garrick and in there. All right, have a good have a good night, Marias. Yeah, Teamer mid range. It's on it's on the docket. You see, it's down here. We're going to play that later.
think I'm kind of too far behind to turn Great Henge into a 3-3 right now. Hey, what's up, Striker? Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I really appreciate that. Thanks, Striker. Oh, no, it's just a regular sub. Regular tier one sub. Still completely awesome. All right. All right, on the play. I definitely want manipulation. Real Mystic is difficult. No, I can't cut once upon a time. I need it for my, my mana base and everything. It's not a cuttable card. I don't know what to take out. Just... All right, we can we can hopefully have a a two drop here to go along with once upon a time, like with the once upon a time, help us ramp into Nissa. I'm going to do that before scrying so I have more information with my scry and everything. Uh, yeah, Mono Green Stompy is kind of similar. So yeah, we could definitely move Mono Green Stompy. I mean, it's... I guess... I mean, they're just green decks. I guess there's not any card... Par like Paradise... No, Paradise Root is in the other one. I guess there's not any card, actually, that they share. Nissa. They share Nissa. That's the only card that the two decks share. But yeah, I can def I definitely don't mind. Yeah, like This is a, a green base deck, and the next one's a green base deck. I don't mind. moving that. We can definitely move that. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't like how the goose makes an eagle sound either. I wish I made a, 
a honking sound, a goo sound. I don't. We're not playing an eagle. Okay. So one to know. We'll switch Abs and Hero there. We can do that. Get some different feeling decks in there. On the draw. Mm -hmm. This could get ran over. This could get ran over. That doesn't help it get, not get run over. Well, you're just asking about a Rakdos deck there, Brew. Um, we're playing against a Rakdos deck here. Come on, hit a land. No, why can't these two be switched? Hit that land. You're quite charmed to meet me. One bite, and all your cares are gone. Mm -hmm. I honestly don't really know what this new Twitch looks like that y'all are talking about because I. I feel so okay, alive. now I do. My page is still up from before that. <laughs> Yeah, that does look kind of weird, doesn't it? That does look weird. All right, Nisa. What do they do? They mur- wait, I didn't block it and then they murderous ridered it? That's cool. So obviously I could tick up on the I'll just tick up on a forest. We'll be able to cast once upon a time. Rise, my elemental that can give me another forest. Yeah, sorry sorry, it's Golgari Troll is the not Golgari Stompy. It's it's not a Stompy deck. It's a it's a troll deck, a Clackbridge troll deck. But uh, all those decks that we're playing today, plus more that we'll play in the next couple of days, are up there on Stream Decker. We got some faded out cards here. So we're playing against Rakdo stuff. I kind of feel like mass manipulation may be a little slow here. Ugh. Could be a little slow. So 
So what if we go with this? Take those out and the, the Paradise Druid and play a couple of Vale of Summers and Questing Beasts. I like it. Let's try this. This is kind of rough with the, having the temple. Because our hand is like perfect without temple. I guess I still just goose on turn one and just hope we draw an untapped land for Oko. And if not, we can just go like temple leafkin. I don't know. We'll see. Wow, you're just stomping on my goose. Just stomping on the goose. So Oko turns that into a 3-3, three, three, but then it loses all abilities. So they don't have to discard cards anymore. Probably worth it. I'll shear the wool from your eyes and spin you clarity. Gaze yeah, I could. I mean, I could turn the food into a three-three to chomp. True shape. But I think just turning this Regisaur into a three-three is nice. May we meet again, or not? Means that questing beast is bigger. We're not. We're not dying nearly as fast now uh, no I wouldn't say most people seem to, to play this Rakdos deck this is um, my 12th match here and this is my first time seeing this deck in 12 matches so I wouldn't say that most people play this deck I want to play Oko and turn the spawn into a 3-3, but then, then we don't have like any blockers and we don't get to do anything else. No, my the Great Henge. I want my the Great Henge. I'd like to draw another land where I can go Oko plus Questing Beast next turn. That would be nice. Stomp it on my goose. We did not draw a land for that. Open your heart to the magic that dances around you. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. Uh, Gilded Goose will drop in price as more as more uh, copies are open and everything. So yeah. It'll, you know, more and more packs will be opened up and it'll it'll drop in price. This is 
exchange control with power three or less. Dear. We don't really need to Oko the Krasis. It's still it's big enough. I'm gonna keep this spawn of mayhem from doing damage and everything. Keep it from being great. <laughs> Robber the Rich just hit two lands. All right, so if I make this block, I'm taking, this is four, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This puts me down to one. One's kind of rough. Okay, so we're staying at four because they're going to just cast this four three. Well, that's fine with me. I'd rather be at four. Yep, I can make I can make foods to and eat food for life. Gain more life, yep. Hey Cheerios. Alright, two and oh. Robber the Rich didn't help my opponent. May have robbed the rich, but didn't give anything to the poor. <laughs> yep. This is what happens when, you know, day one of rotation. Metagame's definitely really janky. Yep, Simic looking good. Uh, I don't I don't know about, like, what was in their deck, like, how much reach they had in their deck for, like, direct damage. I don't think they necessarily quit too soon, but I don't know also what was in their deck. But that looked pretty over. Hmm. So we're kind of on a five card hand here with like, you know, it's going to take a little bit to get to this top end. Just in case we grab a goose, but I don't even know if we really want to play a goose. Uh, we'll just take this breeding pool. That's going to help for mass manipulation. What's up, McCarty? All right, so they're ramping over here. And Cheerios with that Twitch Prime sub. Getting that hype in here. Thank you so much there. Our 12th sub of the day. I will invert the world to watch kings grovel and whoop. It's not poison. Trust me. Ugh, they can just take my Risen Reef. <laughs> Gosh, Oko is busted. Loyalty 
is fickle and fragile. Wow. There's an elemental deck. <laughs> wow. Need to find another blue source to be able to go mass manipulation. I guess that's two draws off Omnath. I must seek comfort in the land. I grace you with my lack of presence. All right, well, we got, they took my Risenry, so I'll take their Omnath. What's up, Julius? All right. Donation deck for tomorrow. Thank you so much. No problem. I'll get you on the, the schedule there. Thank you so much there, Julius. All right. So, Brazen Buccaneer. Quite a good card against my Steel Effects. Need another blue source for manipulation. Oh, I can't block that because it's still I need I need Leafkin to be able to do to tap for two. Oh, I shouldn't have blocked there. Well, let's see. So if I go Leafkin Forest, cast Once Upon a Time, I find a blue source, I play it, then I can just steal one thing with Mass Manipulation. We want to be able to steal more than one thing. Can't really let a blue source die. Harness the elements. No. Cause I think I think they may have grow spiral. Like they've been just like sitting here like trying to react to stuff. So I think they could have grow spiral that could turn the Omnath into a four four. 
Oh, they just have Once Upon a Time. Bouncing that thing. Or not Once Upon sorry. Brazen Borrower. Stealing my Risen Reef has just been incredible. Grazer does work really well with Oko, though. Like, Oko turning Grazer into a 3-3 three, three is pretty big game. Beating both of these flash brazen borrowers is, is really tough. It's really, it's really the big problem here. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're just dead because of Oko. Ugh. Because Oko get, makes the Cavalier Thorns not have reach anymore, which is a plus ability. Yeah, the more we play with this card, the more it really seems like this is supposed to be a minus, not a plus one. I could find a goose. No goose. So they have lethal here.
And I still have lethal. I had lethal for a while. I guess they could do all that. All they had to do was just not ha just plus up on my Cavalier Thorn so I didn't have reach anymore. And attack for six in the air. Oko stealing, Ri Oko stealing Risen Reef is really rough. Kind of makes me not want to play Risen Reef. I don't think I want to change anything though. I think we were just pretty slow out of the gate. And honestly, I don't think I really want any of those sideboard cards here. I think I'm just trying to do my A game better than they do theirs. All right, so we'll see if we can find a goose so we can have turn two Oko. If not, we'll play Temple. Goose. There's no reason to think that Oko is going to get banned. There's, there's just no reason to think that. So if this Temple of Mystery was for sure an untapped land, I'd probably want to play the Leafkin Druid here to uh, um, to help be able to have five, you know, to like have like the five mana for Nissa the next turn. I don't know, is this I don't know, they said good game. Or they We're on turn two. Why are they saying good game? Just didn't play another land. They could have. It's not poisoned. Trust me. Okay. So you're saying that as a non-native speaker, sometimes you try to say like a good move or like a good play or something, and that's and so you like think that's like the good game. Gotcha. Yep, Vespouche, that's what we're playing here. Land 
shall conquer you. I guess you don't want to make. I don't want to make the land. I was gonna make the land into a three-three, but then it loses all abilities, so it doesn't have the. It doesn't have haste or vigilance. One, and it doesn't have the ability to tap for leaf druid now. If I would do that. Surely you must be famished. Uh, yeah, the auto tap with the goose can be better. I, I expect that that'll get changed. Correct. Agent of Treachery can take Field of the Dead. Correct. Do I want to cut Agent of Treachery with them playing all these Brazen Buccaneers? Maybe I do. So maybe these deal effects just aren't aren't good because of all these Brazen Buccaneers. Oko's minus five does increase Brazen Buccaneer's value, that's for sure. Play some Vela Summers instead. Don't get Questing Beast in here, start bashing. Thanks for BizQuick. Thank you so much for that support. Y'all are awesome. I really appreciate that. Okay, a little bit of a... It's a little slow for a hand here. It's not a mulligan. The temple is kind of awkward again, because if this does turn into goose, then we'd have to, we have to make sure we draw. We'd have to draw another land to be able to have turn three Nissa. Yeah, that's true. I could just always try to have my agent of treachery steal a land. That's true. Hey, Mantis. Getting in on the hype action. Getting some more hype boats in here. Thank you so much there, Mantis. So what these sub goals do is is whenever we hit um, every ten subscribers is a sub goal, and whenever we hit twenty total sub goals, then I do a twelve hour stream like we're doing today. So we're uh, seeing if we do more twelve hour streams. So going for the goose, where we have the potential for turn three Nissa. Stream's going good, manual. Yep, going real good. So they look like they got a slow hand over there. I was like, wait, they're spending two mana for once upon a time? And it's like, oh yeah. 
MHC as well. Yeah, this this was a th yeah this is a sub goal twelve hour stream that we bumped to today. That we got it um probably got about five days ago. We hit the the sub goal twelve hour stream, and we just waited till today. I will invert the world to watch kings for it. grovel. And now well, we've we've currently to we're halfway peace. towards our next one also with our sub goal that we hit earlier today. That's number ten out of twenty. So, you know, we may be doing another one here pretty quickly. Who knows? I will protect the virtue of this world. Rise, my elemental friend. I'll think up a fun fate for you. Uh, I I cannot stay up for 24 hours now. I can't do that. I hope so, Matthew. I hope so. Yeah, Twitch changed today. New layout and stuff. Let's broaden your existence. Hmm. I guess it's better to uh, have the forest for more mana for Hydroid Crisis. Every tale about me is absolute nonsense. Surely you must be famished. No, there's nothing wrong with liking opening up packs one by one on Arena. We did a lot of that today. Uh, we did our big pack opening session earlier today and opened up tons of packs one by one. Oko is incredibly good. It's been... It looks to be one of the very best cards in Standard. It is... Incredibly good. So right now, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and Crisis for twelve next turn. And we have the Gilded Goose mana still. Your new look is enchanting. The land fights for us. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, 2, 4, 6, 
8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16. So even not tapping the goose, I got X is 14 here. Just get a brand new hand. Surely you see the humor here. Yeah, build it. Yeah, build your own midnight clock. I guess I don't have Veil of Summer up anymore by getting rid of that food token. That's probably fine. Turns out Nyssa and Hydra Crisis are still good. Still quite good. Well, still pretty early, I and mean, we've only played three ga three decks, but you know this one's been the strongest one so far. No, Oko does not get rid of the plus one plus one counters. So if you turn like a Hydroid Crisis from a zero zero into a three three, it would still have all the counters on it. So they could, so you know it only grow a Hydroid Crisis. I'm feeling good, JPEG. Yeah, feeling good. Yeah, we're. We're halfway through right now, six hours in, and it doesn't really feel like it. It like I we may not be able to get to all these decks, honestly. No, we, we probably will. Yeah, we probably will. We may start have we may start playing four instead of five matches, though, for each deck. But yeah, we'll get we'll get to each one. The goose is loose. Turn one goose. They do make you click a whole bunch for this Gilda Goose. I'm certain you're quite charmed to meet me. Welcome to the feast. Yeah, I could definitely see splashing for Teferi and Simic Ramp. Absolutely. You are fouler than a fiend. Nothing wrong with that. Let's broaden your existence. All right, now we got our Risen Reef stuff. It's like our plan B of our deck. <laughs> it feels like. Oko's pretty busted. Yeah. 
So yeah, they'll be able to make Pell Collector even bigger by playing something else big, but we're going to be taking the Pell Collector here in a little bit. So I don't really mind. Oh, they didn't have anything else big to play. Expectations. Alright, I'm just going to take their 4-4. Four, four. Give them the Leaf King Druid. And you know, they, they attack both of these at Oko to kill Oko. I don't really mind because we have the backup Oko. Yeah, give gave my opponent a land. I think that's okay. We can have manipulation for two next turn. That's pretty good. Which I think I want to do that instead of... Do I just want to play Agent of Treachery? No, I'll probably do this for two. So I was going <clears> to... <throat> I was going to turn one of these things. Nah, I'll probably make a food token. I don't know. Could take. I could turn one of those things with with the counters on it into a 3-3 to make it bigger. What's up, Jay Gomez? Just came back from playing a bunch of new magic. It sounds awesome. That's what we've been doing here as well. The yellow summer definitely good. You get more great henge in my deck. So I'm thinking the steel effects are kind of slow, and like that game we had already basically won. Let's take out the Risen Reefs that are also slow. Get Veil of Summers. Maybe I still play the Agent of Treachery. It's either that or a Ceratops. Like questing beasts have having the death touch can trade with like the seven six and everything. Hey Link, the Magic King's going really well today. Uh we probably struggle a little bit against Model Red. Probably, I d I don't know. Um Oko making foods all the time, like that, you know, that life can be awesome. Uh, you know, I have the Sir Eulin Drakes in the sideboard. This should have probably been a mulligan. And, you know, with the four once upon a time to help you find the Sir Eulin Drakes, it's a little easier to find them.
Probably should have mulliganed this. Oh, well. Are we going Krasis next turn if we have nothing else to do? I think so. Well, they didn't play a land, so they can't grow the Chamber Guardian. Yeah, they just they should have played the land first. They forgot to do that. They accidentally clicked over. Hey, Lord Chrissy. What is up? Thank you so much there, Lord. Getting that sub in there. Bringing the hype. Number 16 today. No blocks. None. Yeah, Growth Chamber Guardian is real bad against Legion's End. Yeah, the decks that were added to your collections. I mean, you can you can delete the decks if you would like, but the cards in the the cards in the deck should just go to your collection now. If you didn't have all of the cards in those decks, you are able to delete the decks if you choose. That Great Henge is really easy to cast. It's quite the card. I'm going to play this. I don't really want to Nissa. And then, uh, you know, plus up, make a 3-3, three, three, and then have them attack potentially with, like, two 4-4s four, at my Nissa. And then I have to worry about that. I don't really want to worry about that. I'm just going to play the, the Cavalier. And we have Veil of Summer back up, so that's pretty good. And I want to steal this Great Henge. I have seen one Garrick today. Just the one. And I died. I was already, like, pretty far behind. And then Garrick just meant that I died very fast. Been looking for a good Oko deck. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, nice. Yeah, you've been trying this out, JWR. It's been going really good for you. That's awesome. Yeah, we're going to be playing an Abzan deck up next with some Garrick and some Tulsimer. So I can play Agent of Treachery. Can I play Nyssa plus Agent of Treachery? I have to leave these two back, so I'd have to tap, like, Five for Nyssa, and then I untap a land, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I guess the answer is yes. Yes, I can. I don't have Veil of Summer available anymore if I would do that. And I wouldn't have any other... I would have the Agent of Treachery that can chump block also. All right, this works. Yeah, yeah, Garrick, that comparing Garrick to Grave Titan, that's a pretty good comparison there.
Yeah, yeah, you get a bunch of starter decks if you haven't. If you're just starting your arena accounts. Yeah, they have they had a bunch of starter decks there. So, if you haven't played in months, you're good there. All right, I'm gonna keep this forest untapped. So two, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eh, we'll just do, we'll just do ten. I guess that taps everything, actually. That's fine. We don't need to keep Bale somewhere else. Coco! We don't really need to worry about dying too much anymore with having the Great Henge. Correct. If you Oko a Hydra, you get three extra power, but then it does not have flying or trample anymore. Yes, yeah, Simic Flash is, is good for sure. Um, you get, like, Simic Flash had, or at least the game's two really good creatures with Brazen Buccaneer and Wildborn Preserver. No, three color decks are not dead at all. No. You can you can play four color. If you have base green with Paradise Druid and Gilded Goose. Fixing your mana. I don't have a magic mirror deck. Yeah, Once Upon a Time helps you with that as well. Yeah, we just yeah we just broke two million views, over a thousand people in here, y'all. Awesome, welcome everybody, welcome. If you're kind of newer to the channel, this is what I do every day. Stream for usually from three to ten Eastern time, but today we're doing a special twelve-hour stream with the release of Throne of Eldraine. Um, also have all the all of my videos go up on YouTube. There's a link to the YouTube channel. Ugh. Yuck! I'll take the first one. Maybe the the link to the YouTube channel will come up. It's just YouTube.com/slash Todd Stevens MTG. That's how you can find it there. The Great Henge. Hey, Chief Staff, good evening. Susie, thank you, thanks for the support there. I guess I'm going to take Krasis. Bant. Yeah, we'll see if we need to do Krasis X equals 2 or not. Blech. Chupacabra. Nope, we're going Risen Reef. So we get to Nissa next turn and then have Krasis after that. All right. Risen Reef, that's a good card. Put a land into play, Stone Rain your opponent. That works out pretty well. No, go. Walk with me. <laughs> Sing with me. 
I will surely you must be famished. Okay, so good. I will protect the virtue of this world. Rise, my elemental friend. I'll think up a fight. All right, so I like drawing this gilded goose so we can just chump block with the gilded goose and we don't have to trade. Um, my forest for, you know, one of these food tokens, we can just, we can just chomp with goose. So then I'll have two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, so potentially have eleven Surely you see the human. mana for crisis for nine. New sets treat me pretty well. Yeah. Treating us well here. Yeah. <clears throat> I could see moving away from... And, yeah, I could definitely see moving away from mass manipulation in the deck. I could, I could certainly see that. Behold, nature's true power. All right, big crisis. More crisis. Oh, oh, really? Mass manipulation has been a win card for you for about seventy-five percent of the games you play with the deck. Okay. Welcome to the feast. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've, I'm certainly. Satisfied with it. What's up, Caius? Thank you so much for the tier one sub. I have all the subs today. Y'all are awesome. Thank y'all very much. So we can take out Oko. Attack them for six. No, I don't anymore. And fade in. Basically just like arena fair. more than magic online. I'm gonna play Cavalier and Temple. So they're playing Bant. I didn't see any white cards. Probably Tuls it's gotta be Tulsimer. Yeah, I gotta have like Tulsimer. That would make sense. So Wicked Wolf, Tulsimer. I don't know if I need to do anything. We'll see. If we lose a game and, you know, we'll have more, uh, more information, if there's anything we need to be scared of. Yeah, the Great Henge is, is real good. Real good. I want to play two in this deck for sure. Like, we just mold the five that last game and put Great Henge to the bottom also. Turns out Krasis and, or like Nissa into Krasis is just pretty awesome. Um... But, yeah, I want to get a second Great Henge in here. It would it'd have to be over, like, Agent of Treachery or the Mass Manipulations or something, I guess. It's hard to fit it in, to be honest. Hmm. 
No, Oko. Please don't have turn two, Oko. That's not good. Huh. Like maybe Ether Gust or something? Oh, they're just creating a food token. That makes sense. That makes sense. Invert the world to watch kings grovel. One bite, and all your cares are gone. I don't really know where we would fit in Voracious Hydra. I, I, th I think that the steel cards are, are better than Voracious Hydra. That's a Together, we general thing there. Darn it, they attacked with the Risen Reef also. Um, so I either just like take it and like have my Oko keep making food, or I have my Leafkin block the planes and then give them my f food and take their Risen Reef and then play a new Risen Reef until I have double Risen Reef going and they don't have Risen Reef. And then my Oko's gone. So, like, my Oko's gone, but they have Nyssa. Or I just block here and then turn this food into a 3-3 that can trade with the land. I think I do that. Ooh, you're a tricksy one. Double Risen Reef is nice, but also so is having Oko in play. Yeah, is it, yeah, Will is really, is it Irish or is it Scottish? Definitely has a strong accent, though. Your new look is enchanting. You think Irish? Okay. I thought Scottish immediately but I, I could also be wrong alright what's our opponent going to do hopefully not kill us hopefully not kill us Looks like we're dying.
All right, so they play Tulsimer, still have five more mana. Six mana. There's Voracious. Oh, yeah, I guess I could have done final boss music. Mm, you're too close minded. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if we put on final boss music now when we're just halfway through game two that we're likely going to lose, but we'll see. All right, well, that's game. Because they get to fight twice. They're going to sack this food. Make it indestructible. Both my creatures die. And I have no creatures. They have all this stuff. All right, we're going to get the Aether Gust in here. Questing Beast looks pretty good, too. You know, they got tons of 3-3s, three and, like, they're fighting with 3-3s. Three or even just fighting with a big Voracious Hydra. This thing still has Death Touch. I'm going to play all those. I'm going to get rid of the Risen Reefs. Let's do that. <laughs> yep, we got a troll deck later. Hmm. That's Abzan, green, white, black. We haven't been changing our fox color too much. What's up, Deathsta? Thanks so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Ah, I didn't get the Nissa. I was like, well. All right, so number 19 on the day. Magic that dances around you. 
I invite you to change your ways. And Amnesiac getting in there as well. Welcome, Amnesiac. I have to refresh my stream here real quick. Or not 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 the whole stream, just my my chat. My hype boats went away. Oh no, now Twitch looks different for me too. There we go. All right, so we got to another sub goal. That's sub goal number 11 out of 20 towards our next 12 hour stream after today. I'll think up a fun fate for you. Racist. Help us out. Gaze into my face and put on mm. your true shape. I should have. Nah. Yeah, I guess we could have played one of these other blue sources later. I'm hoping that we get to draw. Certainly hoping we get to draw something to do this next turn where I can play, you know, it's play not. Temple here, Sorry. cast some card. I would have mined another Krasis. This thing doesn't have death touch, right? They're just sacrificing this food to make it indestructible, right? Oh, you put a 1-1 one -one counter on Wicked Wolf. Whoops. Okay, well, I guess I should keep reading the card. Whoops. Alright, well that wasn't great. We did not draw anything to do here, unfortunately. Six mana, just any card. Um, Welcome to the feast. Could have done that better. Uh, I would. I would say like what deck I like the most. So we've only played three decks so far. I like I like the mono black value deck the most. So far, this deck, the deck that we're currently playing, has been the strongest. But. I really I like playing the mono black deck. That's a, a deck that I that has a lot of stuff that I enjoy. Oh. Yeah, Oko's real good. I could have let them kill Oko with like the hope of like stealing their Oko, but we'll see what they play here. Yeah, big jellyfish. We'll steal that, and do I steal Wicked Wolf? So I can steal two things. Definitely taking Krasis, and I think we just take the wolf. Oh no, I could take I could take Oko. I'll just have the wolf lose all abilities, give it do the plus one thing. Oh yeah, we could just trade. I like that. I like trading. We we can only take like Tulsimer though. We can't take the Wicked Wolf because the Wicked Wolf doesn't. But we could take Tul Tulsimer or, or Risen Reef. I 
assure you our deal is worth your while. All right, I can't trade with that thing. Just make a food. It's not poison. Trust me. Yeah, I could plus one on their wolf, just turn it into a four four for good. It has no more abilities. Ugh, should have taken Risen Reef. Invert the world to watch kings grovel and worms rule. I think a little merriment is in order. Goose. Why is it an eagle sound? Why isn't it a goose sound? Yeah, we can take we can take the reef this next turn now. We can give them this food for the reef. That's annoying. Yeah, I guess that wolf can be a 7-7. Seven, seven. Just sack the three things there. So yeah, I guess I do... Yeah, that is... That is pretty awesome. So, I guess I need to start plussing on these wicked wolves. That's what I need to do. Yes, we did play against an Esper Doom deck earlier with mono black value, and it defeated us. We drew really bad game three. Didn't draw anything like the whole game, and it defeated us. Let's broaden your existence. Why do you cross me? Okay. So both, and maybe I should have plussed up on the other Wicked Wolf because both of these can be six sixes. So I am chump blocking with Cavalier of Thorns, but I kind of want to chump block with Cavalier of Thorns because I want to get back mass manipulation. Like, I, I kind of wanted to bl chump block with Cavalier of Thorns anyway. Okay, they're not going to let me. Oh. Oh. I wonder what their card is. 
they're letting this happen. <clears throat> now we don't have to block with the Leafkin Druid. They could have just like plus one on my Cavalier so I didn't get this card back. Also, only got over there. More crisis. Just gives me something else to take. Thank you. Oh, I guess I can't cast this once upon a time now. But yeah, so I was going to just now take the Risen Reef with the, you know, use the food to take the Risen Reef. And then, because I think I had enough mana to take four things, didn't I? I don't know. I'm not sure if I did. I should have cast the Once Upon a Time before getting back the manipulation, but I was just so excited about getting back the manipulation. So there we go. That's Simic Ramp. Definitely a strong looking deck here. I mean, it's hard to it's hard to say exactly what to change whenever we didn't lose a match, but we you know played a lot of good close games. I um I didn't use the sideboard very much, like very much at all. The finale is in here for the the control matchups where they like kill all your stuff and if you like start trying to if you start like milling out with Cavalier Thorns and things like that, um, you know you can X is ten reshuffle so you don't mill out, um, or even just if they're like killing your things and you just have five mana, you know it could just be like a draw three kind of thing. It's just a good versatile card there. Um, yeah, I really like the Great Henge. Um, it gives you like that life against aggro, which is really really nice. Um, yeah, I really like the Great Henge. I would like to play another Great Henge, but I can't really fit it in here. What's up, Casey? Thank you so much. To Oh, Santa Drug Wizard with the gifted sub there, too. Thanks so much there, Wizard. We're not really like a, a deck that's all about attacking and stuff. Like, So I don't, I don't have Questing Beast main board because attacking our opponent isn't really our um, number one goal that we have here um so yeah we're just <clears throat> ooh a new bounty came up new bounty for a usa network mr robot final season trailer cool um but anyway yeah, so we got the questing beast in the sideboard uh, for different times. Like they can they can come in against aggro if we want like that four four. Uh, they can come in against planeswalker control decks as well. Um, yeah, this is um, yeah this was just a, a good solid deck. You know, not not too much else to say about it there. Um, yeah, you know, like if we start playing some more and find some holes, then then we know like more of like what we can change in the sideboard to fill it but yeah the sideboard is in pretty much in flux um i like the agent of treachery as like a card to find with the once upon a time in the late game also um yeah you know like we just got a couple one ofs but they're really powerful cards i i don't i don't like saying what's best mid-range deck it's day one there's not best decks right now any anybody that's telling you there's like this is the best deck they're they're just lying like it's it's day one I just went 5-0 with this deck. This is the best deck now. No, it's not. It's everybody's still just putting stuff together and and finding card interactions that are good and finding like what they want interaction for and and so on. Um but yeah, any yeah, there's there are people that say like oh, this is best deck in the new format and stuff and they're just being disingenuous. It's it's not. Okay, anyway, that's Simic Ramp. Uh, impressive showing there all right so if you're watching on youtube don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there appreciate both of those but also feel free to leave some comments i always like seeing the comments on the youtube channel um you know let me know 
what you think of the deck, uh, what you think the best deck of the format is, <laughs> and so on. Um, you can re you can replace Questing Beast with Shifting Ceratops if you need to. You can do that. Um, uh, but yeah, there we go. So thank you so much for watching some Simic Ramp. Hope you check out all these other uh, fun decks that we're going to be playing here today. And until then, I'll see you for the next video.